powerful beings having human experience, welcome back to another video. If you are crystal clear about what you want, and keep taking constant action toward making it happen, but God, the universe, the supreme creator of all, or the divine consistently presents you with something you don't want. It is time to lean into it and uncover what it is you need to learn, gain, experience or work through. Sometimes the universe delivers exactly what we ask, in a way that feels like exactly what we don't want. This can make it very difficult to see and feel that you are being supported. I promise you, you are always being supported no matter what is going on in your life. When it feels like things are not going your way, you have to stop and be honest about where you are blocking the flow. Oftentimes, these blocks come from the fact that we don't realize we are being given exactly what we want, exactly the way we need it. The universe, or God, Goddess, the Supreme Creator, or the Divine whatever you choose to refer it, isn't a magic genie where your wish is its command. It will 100% support you in creating a life you love by giving you the challenges, experiences, tools, skills and relationships you need, in order to get to where you want to go. Sure, it would feel better if you just got the awesome job. If Prince Charming just showed up at your door already. Probably, but think about this. You might not be the person you need to be in order to really thrive in that job, relationship or experience without going through something else first. If you are crystal clear about what you want, and keep taking constant action toward making it happen, but the universe consistently presents you with something you are resisting, it's time to lean into it and uncover what it is you need to learn, gain, experience or work through. Sometimes the things you are resisting are a necessary part of the journey. And you are not going to get there if you continue to push back. Sometimes opportunities and connections we need are not where we think we are going to find them. Sometimes we need to be in challenging relationships or jobs to get clearer on what we do want, learn about ourselves and grow in ways we never would otherwise. The number one thing you have to do is to look for the lessons or the gift. If you are being presented with a challenge or something other than what you wanted, learn to look for the lessons or the gift. What can be learned or gained from the situation or relationship? Where do you need to grow? How can you be of better service, show up more fully, or learn to be more compassionate? What tools are you gaining? There is always a lesson and gift in every situation. Make sure to look for them and find them. Number 2. Stop resisting and start moving with the flow of the universe. Releasing your resistance does not mean that you can't continue going after what you want, it means that you are allowing life to unfold as it should. It also means learning how to show up to each and every moment fully present. Doing and being the best that you can in every situation, regardless of whether it is an easy or challenging situation. How you do anything is how you do everything, so learn to show up completely and give your all to every person and situation you find yourself in. Number 3. Stay Positive Chosen Ones. Mindset is everything, you have to stay positive. Yes, feel what you are feeling and if you need to fall apart or get upset, that is completely okay. Process whatever you are feeling, but don't let it consume your spirit and drag you down. Star Seeds, have you ever experienced this in your life? What was the situation and what did you end up learning or gaining that helped you get to exactly where you wanted to be? Maybe you are experiencing this right now. If so, leave a comment below on what is showing up in your life that you are resisting. The universe does not give that which you cannot handle, it merely enables things to flow into your life. What you expect from the universe is not about the universe at all. The universe allows its laws. It allows the universal law of attraction to exist, and by consequence allows everything that makes you who you truly are today. Humanity has always pinned consequences on someone, there is nothing that can happen without an intervention by an entity. But that is not only wrong, it is quite the opposite. Everything we do, is governed by the random interactions at the quantum level. Is it predictable? Only about as much as you can predict the winning numbers on a lottery. Can you determine a path of events that would lead to a favorable outcome? Only about as much as you can determine if going to sleep early tonight, means you will wake up rich tomorrow. You are a paintbrush, your wants is your imagination. Your life is your paint, the outcomes of your choices are your artistic talent, the universe is your canvas. However, all the while you have been putting more efforts into your goals, but unfortunately, you keep getting the opposite result. Success, happiness, love, wealth, health are elusive. They are like mercury, the closer you get the far they run. It is like trying to reach the horizon, the more you chase it, the farther it moves leaving you frustrated. 
This chase makes us think irrationally, do things we wouldn't otherwise. You want a relationship. You need to be calm, and find the one that takes a step towards you, with every step you take towards it. It is not going to work when you take 10 hasty steps, and the other person feels threatened or intimidated. You want to learn a skill, then don't look at what the masters created, look at the very bottom, what did novice make? Then you will see that whatever you made or learned seemed satisfactory. On the other hand if you will compare your work with the masters, you will feel it's useless and there is no point in putting in your efforts as it's never going to happen. Be patient, stay calm, start at the beginner level and let it grow on its own. And everything will come running to you. Yes, this seems like a strange occurrence in life. But it is only strange because our understanding of how life works is faulty. If you want something, you will only experience more wanting. If you need something, you will only experience more needing. You asked, why does wanting something result in getting the opposite? But that is not the case at all. Wanting something does not produce the opposite, it produces the very same thing, more wanting. This is why I said earlier that our understanding of how life works is incorrect. We think that if we want something, we will get it the same way we want it. Or maybe we can pray and call upon the universe, God, the divine to give us what we want. It is true but does not work all the time. What I have observed is that if you want something, but are not okay with not having it, you will not only miss your chances of getting it, but you will also feel bad about it. However, if you want something, but you are okay that you do not have it, it will definitely find you. Life orchestrates itself to bring it to you, and you to it. Your wanting becomes mere desire. Life takes care of everything else. The universe responds and sends you messages all the time. Everything you see out there is a response to what you are thinking, feeling and believing. But here is the really exciting news, you can make your world change within hours. How can you do it? Stop resisting, because whatever you resist persists. Typically, when you are resisting what constitutes your reality, or rather, your subjective and possibly faulty sense of that reality, you are shying away from it, complaining about it, resenting it, protesting against it, or doing battle with it. Without much self-realization, your energy, your focus, is concentrated on not moving beyond what opposes you, not coming to terms with it. And unconsciously, your impulse toward resistance tends to be about avoiding the more hurtful or disturbing aspects of the experience. These adverse feeling states generally involve fear, shame, pain, or feelings of being hopelessly out of control. Remember that the universe responds and will give you a signs why things are not working in your life. You don't have to wait for days, weeks, months, or years to find out if you are understanding these signs from the universe. You don't have to wonder if the laws of attraction is working for you. I know, it always works, but you know what I mean. Even though a creation may take longer to fully manifest, we can know we are on the right track, simply by paying attention. We constantly receive signs that our prayers are working. But the problem is, most people don't respond to the signs, because they don't realize they are signs. Or worse, they respond negatively, which flows energy towards what they don't want. So, the first step towards understanding why things are not working for you is to master the laws of attraction. A general rule in the law of attraction states that whatever you resist tends to persist. If you have studied the law of attraction, you understand the concept that whatever you push against pushes back. It is why waging wars doesn't work, and why the fight against anything produces more of the same. It is an easy concept to grasp, but a difficult one to practice. We have been trained to push back, to fight and to struggle. We are complimented when we fight and told how strong and courageous we are. We are given medals, honors and rewards for being a great soldier, politician or athlete. It goes against the fabric of our society to move toward things rather than against them, which is why the concept of allowing or surrendering seems meek, mild or even cowardly. How then are we expected to allow negative emotions to pass through us? We are taught to fight them, and to push them away. We are told to suck it up or, just get through it, or even worse to get back at the person who harmed us. We are taught to seek revenge, to battle and to put our fists up in the air. We have many coping mechanisms to extinguish our emotions, drinking, drugs, overeating, immersing ourselves in works and exercising. While exercising may be the most positive form of a coping mechanism, it can also simply be another method of running away or resisting what ails us. When we feel heartache, we search for ways to push against it, to negate it and to not allow it to enter us. 
Have you ever felt a pain deep in your heart, felt the center of your chest start to squeeze as if it were in a vice? And what did you do? Did you surrender and allow yourself to feel or did you push against it, afraid of feeling the pain? When we don't allow the pain to enter, it is a form of resistance. We are in fact, embedding that pain within our bodies. We are keeping it in our organs and our cells. The more we resist feeling something, the more it tends to remain within us. So what can you do to receive what you want from the universe? The answer is to stop resisting your current situation. Breathe in the emotion, allowing it to move through the body without resistance. Sit with it. Simply notice it without any fear attached to the resentment, anger, sadness, or despair. Continue to breathe it in. Observe what the emotions feel like as they move throughout the body. Be there in your body and yet observe as if you are not there. Observe without judgment. Allow yourself to feel whatever it is you are feeling. After the intensity of the emotion reduces, give yourself permission to release the emotion out of your body, allowing it to flow through you and then releasing it gently. Forgive yourself for your part in holding onto the negative emotion and for your part in creating it. Breathe again slowly and gently. Think of expanding your heart. Opening it, making it wider and feel the possibility of love replacing the negative emotion you were holding. Allow more positive feelings to feel your body and mind, and more positive things will start flowing into your life. I hope this video was really helpful. See you in my next video. Peace, love and life.